State labor leaders were joined by a Bay Area legislator today to call on the California legislature to bring back COVID sick pay. You might remember that sick pay expired back at the end of October. Crown Force Dan Kerman is live in San Francisco now with more on this. Dan. Well, you know, it's really put workers in a tough position. If they are sick, they can either use sick time if they have it, they can use vacation time if they have it, or if they won't get paid and they have to get paid, some of them are ending up going to work sick. It's a bad position, and that's what labor leaders say. That's why we need this reinstated. Paid sick leave is as basic and critical as getting vaccinated or wearing a mask. If you or your children are sick or have been exposed, you need to make sure not to pass it on. And that means staying at home. At an online news conference Thursday, California labor leaders, workers, and legislators called on the California legislature to bring back COVID-19 sick pay. We've already uh, implemented the policy once. It needs to be implemented again immediately. Among those speaking, Bay Area State Senator Dave Cortese. Supplemental paid sick leave is one of the most important weapons against the virus to slow the spread. I mean, that's the science. That's not just an economic issue a worker protection issue, um, that's the science. The state supplemental COVID-19 sick leave expired at the end of September, and those calling for its reinstatement say that's led to a series of awful choices. The expiration of COVID supplemental paid leave has left healthcare workers and essential workers more vulnerable. Now we're forced to choose between protecting our communities and staying home when we are sick and, or losing pay. If the legislation is brought back, it won't resemble what California had last year. That's because in 2021, there was federal funding to help support small businesses. That federal funding is no longer available. So what we have before us is an opportunity with the $46 billion surplus in, uh, in the state budget, uh, an opportunity for the governor, for the Senate, and for the Assembly to be creative in terms of what does this look like if we're going to move it forward? Because there is no federal funding assistance. And if this does move forward, it's unclear how quickly that can happen, though the governor is on record saying sick leave is a top priority for him. Live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. Thanks, Dan.